in addition to reading through the Sermon on the Mount and the early stories of the Book of Acts, we've been exploring Paul's teachings in the Book of Romans, a very dense book full of meaty theology. Here he speaks or writes on life in the Spirit. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and of death. For God has done what the law, we can by the flesh, could not do. By sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and to deal with sin, God condemns sin in the flesh, so that the just requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their mind on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their mind on the things of the Spirit. To set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For this reason, the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. And those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. You are in the Spirit, since the Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is life because of righteousness. If the Spirit of him, of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. So here when Paul speaks of the flesh, he's not speaking merely of our bodies, suggesting that our bodies are evil. He's saying that we, when we are tempted to do what is wrong for ourselves or for others, when we sin, that that is when the flesh takes hold of us, when we're controlled by sin rather than by God. Would you join with me in confession? Holy God, we confess that we bow down before other gods. We have turned our hearts away from you. Our worship of work and craving for possessions disorders our love of you and each other. Forgive us, God, and mend what is broken, that we may be one with you. Now, if you'd like to take a moment in silence for personal confession, we will then hear the assurance. Thank you. 